A SpaceX rocket went up in flames in Florida, rocking Cape Canaveral. SpaceX released a statement saying an anomaly caused the explosion of the Falcon 9 rocket on the launch pad. Fortunately, nobody was injured in the blast. Former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino is here to tell us more. Mike, what does a setback, setback rather, like this mean for private space programs? I think things like this are going to happen inevitably, um, and I think they're going to continue to move forward. SpaceX is one of the major players in the commercial space business. Um, it's probably going to delay their next launch for, for a while. You know, they've had uh, accidents before. They had one accident about a year ago, and they were able to recover from it. I think it's probably going to keep them down for a few months until they figure out exactly what happened. But uh, I think they'll move on, and I think the other companies will, will keep going as well. SpaceX said the issue originated around the oxygen tank during the propellant loading process. Break that down for us. What is the danger there? Well, when uh, when you're loading rocket fuel uh, onto a rocket, you only you only do that usually shortly before you're actually going to fire it. So they were going to do a test fire today, and then they were going to try to launch. I think it was or they, I think the test fire today launches tomorrow. But you don't load it. You don't put the fuel in until you're ready to very close to the ready time to launch. And so they had liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen using spacecraft like their rocket engine. During the loading of that fuel, that's where there's part of the danger. Anytime you start loading that fuel, or anytime you have a fuel, uh, rocket fuel inside of a tank, you have the uh, opportunity or the, the danger, the hazard of having an explosion. And that's what happened. So what's next for SpaceX? How do they convince the public that these rockets are safe? Well, luckily, no one was hurt in this in this uh, accident, and uh, there was a, a satellite that was lost, and it's uh, going to be a, a problem for those uh, different customers that were planning to use that communication satellite. But luckily, no one was on board, and there was no one uh, in the surrounding area, the technicians or the people supporting launch, who were hurt. So that's a good thing. As far as like people being concerned, when when they get to the to the point, hopefully in a year's time or so, where they're launching people on top of one of their rockets, it's going to be a slightly different uh, equation there. When you have a crew capsule on top of a rocket like this, you do have an escape system on that, on that rocket. So if you had a problem like this where they saw that the rocket was going to come undone, they would hopefully be able to have the time to, before that happens, bring this, the crew to safety. The, the Soyuz rocket that's used in Russia had a similar problem. They had a crew on board, the rocket started to go to blow up, and they were able to jettison the crew module, get the Soyuz away from the rocket ship and save the crew. So I, I, I wouldn't say that just because this happened to a cargo ship, that if you had people on board, it would have the same outcome. You would still have a, a rocket that, that failed, but hopefully that no one would be, would be hurt. As far as getting confidence, I, I think they just have to get some more success under their belt before people are going to say, yeah, we're 100% we're ready to go. And that's the way SpaceX feels about it. They don't want to lose another satellite. And they certainly don't want to put people in harm's way. Still very much in the early phases. All right, former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino, thanks so much. My, my pleasure.